Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to continue what I have started in a previous video. I'm going to add some images to Peanut Lab and I'm going to show you how you can create a lab using those images. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button. Also, there is a bell button. By clicking on that, you make sure that you will be noticed when there is any video uploaded here. Also, give me a thumbs up. That will encourage me to create more of these kinds of videos for you and you will enjoy it even more than that so uh, in a previous video i showed you how you can create a peanut lab virtual machine if you haven't seen that and you need it there is a link down below the video and and this is the peanut lab machine that i have started if everything goes good you will see an ip address here for me for example this is 10 10 10 9 and if you want to see the settings you can click on vm go to vm settings here it will tell you that what kind of a uh, network adapter I have on this virtual machine. By default, it creates two network adapters, but one of them is going to be enough. NAT is the one that I am using, and I'm canceling this out because this is virtual machine. This virtual machine has been created on VMware Workstation. I can just go to Edit, and from here I can just uh, open Virtual Network Editor. If you want to have another IP address, you can just select Change Setting from here, and then change the IP address that you wish for this specific adapter down here. So when you start the virtual machine, you can see that it gives you some very critical information in here. It says that this is Peanut Lab. The default username is root. The password is Peanut. Also, it tells you if you want to connect to this virtual machine, you can use HTTP uh, 10, 10, 10, 9, and then uh, connect to this using any terminal software. I am using Secure CRT, but you can use PuTTY or any other software you wish to have. So what I'm going to do is to go to File here and go to Quick Connect. And PuTTY, of course, there is a Quick Connect that shows the exact window here. And Quick Connect, I use SSH2. Then the host name is 10.10.10.9. This is the IP address that I just read on uh, on the terminal. And here, uh, so the port is 22. That's because protocol is selected. Username was root. I just type root and then click on connect. And it says, what is the password now? I type peanut and hit enter. Now you see that I am connected to my virtual machine using secure CRT. Now I can scroll up or down. I can copy the text or I can do anything that I wish to do. The next step to do is to, you know, download some, um, some, some images. And to do that, there is a very nice command installed here. I do not need to do anything other than using that command. And that command is I share. I just hit enter and you see it gives me different, you know, uh, options that I have. I can search, I can pull, I can get details, I can get some help. These two are more important, searching and pulling. So if I want to search, for example, for IOU images, what I do is to type uh, I share search and then I type IOU and hit enter and it will give me all the IOU images that I can download here. This is IOL, I believe. So I just type search IOL. Yes, that is IOL. And you can see that a list of images with the size and the type, all of them are here. Now, if you want to download any of them, you can just select it, copy it, and then uh, type uh, iShare, pull, and then the name of the image after that. So you see that, for example, one of the images which I really like to download is this one. I... 886BI Linux L3 Advanced Enterprise K9 M2 15.7 and that is the image which I really like to you know download. I can copy this text and then I can go to here and type I share pull and then after that paste the name of that this is what you couldn't do in a normal terminal in linux so i hit enter and if everything goes well this is going to start downloading for you but i believe that because my internet connection is not so good it says it is not downloadable or sometimes you say too many users are downloading this is the problem you should download time of day that uh, there is no problem Another way is to upload the image manually. So if you have obtained the image from Cisco website or some other website, then you can upload it into your Peanut Lab. What you need to do is to connect to Peanut Lab using different programs. For example, I'm using FileZilla as an upload program. You can have a lot of other free programs that are out there. 
Now what I'm going to do is to connect. I already have created this connection here, but you can see that the type of connection which I am creating is SFTP. This one is very, very important to note. The host IP address is 10.10.10.9 10, 10, in my case, for example. I have chosen SFTP, which is one of the options here. And then I'm going to choose the logon type as normal. And the username is root, the password is pnet, and then I'm going to click on connect. When you click on connect, this is going to try to connect to your machine. And when it uh, connected, you see the root here. What I'm going to do is to click on this slash, which is going to take me to the root folder. Then from here, I'm going to go to OPT. Click on that. That's going to give me this plus sign to open this. And then I'm going to go to unit lab. Click on this again. And then what I'm going to go do is to click on this add-on folder. Click on open. And then... IOL and of course I need to go to bin folders then what you should do is to drag this file and drop it in this folder if it has not been there already it will be copied for you uh, of course I have this already so I'm not going to do anything I'm going to cancel this out but you see that the transfer is going to be done and after the transfer is finished you need to enter one line of command into your peanut lab environment so what i'm going to do is to go to my peanut lab virtual machine and the command is slash opt slash unit lab slash wrappers slash unl underline wrapper then there is a space dash a another space fix permissions and you hit enter and after that your image should appear in the list of images that you can use you can just connect using a browser to your peanut lab. You see that I already have the link here, but you can easily type 10, 10, 10, 9 or whatever IP address that you have there. Then by going inside, you see that I already have one lab open. In a blank area, you can just right click and go to note. And then you see that these are the devices that I have already uploaded some image for. If you have more images from different devices, you would see more devices here but you see that i only have two images here two types of images of course one of them is for iol which is l3 routers and one of them l2 routers so in a later video i'm going to show you how you can create a very nice and beautiful lab inside peanut lab environment